Alrighty guys, hello, and uh, welcome back to this Let's Play of Minecraft. Um, this is gonna be a really quick episode. Um, I'm gonna do a voiceover here because I'm gonna go into, like, a speed mode. But, uh, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna dig down and we're gonna create some strip mines. Um, mainly because I need some stuff to build with for the next episode, and because I do need to go back to the nether for blaze rods. Um, so, we're gonna do that. We're gonna go dig down. Uh, this is gonna go into speed mode. You're gonna hear, like, a voiceover from me and everything. And, uh, yeah. So, here we go. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell is that noise? Uh, that kind of hurts my head. See if we can get him over here. Need an eye. I need some ender pearls actually. Crap, where'd you go? Okay then. Anyway, uh thanks for watching. Well, I'll say that later. Anyway, here we go. This is going to be me digging down. Um, it's just going to be an overall uh, digging episode. But it shouldn't last long. Maybe 10-15 uh, minutes. It should be a shorter episode than usual. So, thank you guys. And uh, here we go. Alrighty guys, trying this again. Um, uh, first time this didn't go too well. And nothing, nothing's really going to happen in this video. Uh, I don't find any diamond. Uh, I think I find a little gold and some silver. But it wasn't really worth it. Just to get some smooth stone for the next episode was pretty much what this was for. And, um, I was thinking of how to make this uh, episode a little better. You know, how to how to make it more interesting, uh, give you guys something to talk about. And this topic just recently came up again. It was mentioned uh, when a lot of school shootings happen and stuff. This is always mentioned, um, and that's how violence in <clears throat> video games and in, you know, music and movies and television and everything, how that apparently is to blame for kids going to school because they're so, um, they see how to shoot a gun, they're like, oh, that'll be cool, let's go shoot guns and kill people, and no. Uh, and... I don't like what the media is doing with that, and they've been doing this for years, and that's not cool. Um, I just recently watched a report on the news where it was actually saying, like, no, there's been no studies or anything that uh, say that violence in video games or movies or television actually affects the way that uh, people think, so it doesn't show, like, anger or it doesn't produce anger or violence in in people. Oh, sorry, taking taking drinks here. Um, my, my throat's a little dry. And uh, I'm gonna read uh, uh, a uh, a little part of Marilyn Manson's 99 essay on the Columbine shooting. Uh, whose fault is it? And then I'm going to give you uh, kind of what I think, um, and, and uh, yeah. So here we go. When it comes down to who's to blame for the high school murders in Littleton, Colorado, throw a rock and you hit someone who's guilty. We're the people who sit back and tolerate children owning guns, and we're the ones who tune in and watch the up-to-the-minute details of what they do with them. I think it's terrible when ever anyone dies, especially if it's someone you know and love. But when it... But what is more offensive is that when these tragedies happen, most people don't really care any more than they would about the season finale of Friends or the real world. I was dumbfounded as I watched the media snake right in, not missing a teardrop, interviewing the parents of dead children, televising the funerals. Then came the witch hunt. Man's greatest fear is chaos. It was unthinkable that these kids did not have a simple black and white reason for their actions. And so a scapegoat was needed. I remember hearing the initial reports from Littleton that Harris and Klebold were wearing makeup and, dr and were dressed like Marilyn Manson, whom they obviously must worship since they were dressed in black. 
Of course, speculation snowballed into making me the poster boy for everything that is bad in the world. These two idiots were wearing, weren't wearing makeup, and they weren't dressed like me or like goths. Since Middle America has not heard of the music they listen, they did listen to, KMFDM and Ramstein, among others, the media picked something they thought was similar. And yeah, I mixed, uh, KM, KMFDM is a, a band from Germany, and so is Ramstein. Uh, they're form bands that aren't exactly mainstream. Uh, they are like heavy, heavy rock. I'll I'll put the correct term for their their type of music up on the the big screen right there. Um, now I'm gonna move on to a topic of uh, video games and not just uh, just music. Um, I don't know if I already said this, but yeah, sorry, I'm kind of recording in different time frames here. Um, but I I saw a report uh, on my local news channel that actually said for once that it wasn't bashing video games. It was saying no, there's no violence shown. And uh, kids are adults who who play violent video games, um, and of course uh, that was that was a shock for me because usually the media uh, it, it likes to it likes to have interesting stories right it likes to stretch the truth and uh, find something that you can talk about as a topic and so it was nice to see uh, people not actually blaming you know Doom or. Video games or Call of Duty, video, video games in general, right? It, it's kind of always a scapegoat for the media. You know, if something violent happens, it's video games. It's Marilyn Manson. It's music. And no, what 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 I really think it is is it's the people around. And I feel like th they're partially to blame, right? Because I wasn't there. I. I'm I'm just speaking from you know what I think, my opinion. Um, I wasn't there. I've seen a lot of the news reports, but how true the news actually is, you know, uh, they like to stretch the truth again. But <clears throat> I think it comes down to the friends around them, uh, the people at school, and their parents. With their friends, the um, I don't know if there was you know much to do. Um, bullies, I, I don't think, even though you hear of, of all these shootings and stuff, I don't really think people, it doesn't sink in. And I think there's always going to be bullying, there's always going to be, you know, hatred in the world, but, uh, if there's just one way to, you know, uh, the only way I think it's really going to sink in for somebody is if it happens right in front of their eyes and i i really wish that wasn't uh, that wasn't the case but in all honesty i, I Marilyn Manson makes a very good point that you, you know for most people it it isn't that big of a deal and i'm not saying that it isn't a big deal it's just to a lot of people it it's just another school shooting and everyone thinks it's bad, but nobody, nobody really does anything, um, except the people that were there and the people that are around them. And I know a lot of people that are very generous, and they, you know, they donate to the families, and they send cards, and they're just overall very nice. But a lot of people just they don't do anything, and you know, including me. Um, you know, I haven't, I haven't really, I haven't really gone out, sent cards, um, you know, shown my support, but, um, I think, I think that's what the, the what we need a bit of. We need, uh, some support, uh, with all this, and in the aspect of parents, uh, I forgot about this, in the aspect of parents, how, uh, I have a question, you know, I haven't gone back to see all the news reports, I'll do, I'll do some uh, some research, but come on, you gotta know something's up, right? When th there's gotta be some point of, you know, lost connection between, you know, you and your kid, and you know something's wrong. Um, I feel like a lot of parents don't open their eyes and, and see... Uh, 
uh, a lot of the stuff that kids kids are doing, especially in you know in my high school. So, <clears throat> you know, this wasn't really a well put together video, or <laughs> I don't really know what to say. Um, I kind I kind of got this at the bad time. I I was wanting to. Uh, say a little more on this. I'm not really, you know, connecting with all my thoughts right now. I just kind of got up. And, um... But yeah, this was me kind of just spitting out you know, what I think. And, uh... My audio is probably pretty uh, heavily edited. So, thank you for watching. Uh, again, nothing was found in the video. And these are just my, my thoughts on everything. And, um... Thanks for watching.